gentlemen, how are you doing? Uh, this is a video. We are going to have a look at the new Facebook WordPress plugin. Okay, so I'll put this link uh, below this uh, video here. Um, but this is where you can download the plugin. So I've downloaded this to my desktop and I am now inside my plugins and I'm going to upload the plugin. Now, this is going to be a strange video because what I'm going to do, obviously, I haven't tested this yet and I thought, let's make a live video as I like to do. Um, but what I'm going to do in order to obviously not, not extend the video too long is as I go through I will pause and you know come back live as I test and show you how to do different things so uh, it, it's all fine it'll be seamless as far as you're concerned seamless okay so we click on upload so I've gone to plugins on my WordPress page okay so I've gone into my dashboard of WordPress I've clicked on plugins add new and I've gone to upload okay and then I'm gonna choose file and on my desktop I have downloaded the facebook.zip so I simply choose that and then click install now and that is going to install um, automatically for me I'm just going to quit my Skype and email so you don't get lots of dings and things like that as we're going along okay it's unpacking the package and any minute now it should say plugin installed successfully fantastic okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on activate plugin dun 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 I have no idea what I'm activating at this stage and then we're going to head back to the actual plugin and go and check it out here we go you must configure the plugin to enable Facebook for WordPress okay so let's just go and check out where there it is Facebook okay make your site deeply social in just a couple of clicks alright so let's click on configure the plugin and see what pops up okay so here we go step one create an app if you already have a Facebook app for this website skip to step two if you don't already have an app for this website go to facebook.com apps and create new app okay well I don't have a specific app actually I do but I just want to show you um, how to go ahead and create a new app as well while you're here let me just pause while this loads right so I actually have a social networking Academy blog app one of these and um, what we'll do is we'll go and create a new one okay so I'm going to click on create new app and then you just simply put in your app name so we'll put in the SNA blog FB um, plugin see if it accepts that failed okay it doesn't like FB I'm guessing uh, the SNA blog uh, I'm just going to put plug in then okay yes there we go valid doesn't like FB and then uh, namespace SNA blog plugin I'm just going to use the same but I'm going to put it all together in small there you go it's available and no I don't want free web hosting so I'm going to click on continue I've got to do a capture uh, SF9 UTT oh gosh is that going to not like that capital uh, and then submit and then hopefully that's going to cre create me a brand new app and here we go here we go here we go ba boom there we go there's my SNA blog plugin app now I presume all I'm going to need is the app ID but let's go back and have a look uh, so set up the app next set up your app so it looks like the settings below okay here we go make sure you set your apps icon and image too okay so you need a little icon and image okay icon there image there I'll just quickly show you that um, all right so display name namespace app domains right so it's just down here is it the website with Facebook login and mobile web these are the two they want ticked with the site URL so let's go back over to our developers screen here here's the site uh, domain sorry how did they say to set it up there you go so uh, the social networking academy Oop, can't type in thingy academy.com and then we want website with Facebook site URL okay so put in the whole lot let me just pause while oh there we go look it's doing it for me uh, blog okay and uh, mobile web yep so I'm just going to copy that and put that in there as well okay there we go okay and then I'm going to click save changes
So all I've done is I've put in my app domain there, which is my main domain, which is the social networking academy.com, and then I've actually put in the website with the Facebook login, okay? Or with the Facebook plugin. And then I'm going to click Save Changes. Okay, there we go. That's all been accepted. And it's just going to take a few minutes to do that. So we head back here and we've done all of that. So step three, WordPress settings. So now, based on what you entered in step two, fill in the settings below and save. So it actually wants our ID, our secret and our namespace. So if we go back over here, you can see up here is your app ID. Okay, so you're going to copy that, come back across and place that in this box and then if we go back over here there is your app secret key and don't worry that I'm showing you because I'm going to delete this um, afterwards and reset it and I'm going to put in the app secret key there and then we want the namespace which of course is SNA blog plugin okay so we're going to go back and we're going to place that in there and then I'm going to click save changes now while that's saving I just want to come over here and show you how you edit these look if you just that little image there if you just simply click edit and then it's going to tell you you can upload uh, a, a JPEG GIF or PNG file ideally 75 pixels by 75 pixels okay so that's for your um, icon there and then the little icon there you can click on that and that's 16 by 16 pixels Okay, so I'm not going to worry about doing that for now, although I may do it in a second because it may make a difference to some of the settings. So let's see what's happened. Here we go. So your main settings. Post and page settings. These settings affect pages and posts only. Additional social plugins are available in the widget settings. So we've got a social publisher which allows you to uh, pu publish to an author's uh, Facebook timeline and fan page. So I'm guessing what that means is that every time you post a blog it's going to allow you to pu to publish that to the timeline and fan page. So I'm going to click tick on that and it says publish to author's timeline or publish to your fan page link your Facebook account to your WordPress account to enable. Okay, So I'm not going to publish to my timeline at the moment but I am going to click in here and link to my Facebook account. So I'm just going to pause while it does that because you probably don't want to watch this happening. Oh, it's taken it's taken minutes to do that, so that's absolutely fine. Um, mention show on home page. Oh, it is just taking a second to do that. Okay. Publish to fan page. Here we go. So let's go to um, the Social Networking Academy. There we go. Uh, mention show on home page. Is there a little? Oh, here we go. C coming up. Hold on. Authors can mention Facebook friends and pages in posts. Enable this to show mentions on the home page as part of the post. Let's just shut. Let's just say yes. What's this one? Mentions position. This controls where mentions will be displayed in the posts. Okay, so we've got top, bottom, or both. Okay, well let's just leave it at both for the minute because I'm just, you know, we're just testing this and seeing what's going to happen. All right, then we've got the like button. Okay, so here we can add the send button if we want. We can show faces. We can make it a standard layout. We can choose the width. This is exactly like the like button in the actual social plugins section. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave that as is for now. And then you've got the subscribe button. So I'm going to tick that one as well so we can go and have a look and see what that does. Uh, and I don't need the send button because I've included the send button up here. But if you want, you could just literally include the send button separately. And then the comments box. I'm going to leave that as it is. And the recommendations, but I'm going to leave that as it is for now. So that we can just go over and have a look and see what happens with all of that lot. So let's click on save changes. So I've enabled all of that, which is a bit crazy. <laughs> it's all going to look a bit odd. I'm doing this all on a live blog as well, which is uh, handy. <laughs> all right. So let's go over and see what it looks like on a post. Interesting. Here we go. If we come down here, you can see I've got the subscribe button there underneath my picture. I've got the like and the send button there. So I'm going to want to mess around with the settings a little bit just to... Uh, change this show faces but there's only only Elizabeth like this post of my friends so thanks Elizabeth um, 
and then as we move down because I tick top and bottom remember then you've got it at the bottom as well and there's the comments I've got the wrong width setting for this particular page and of course if we go down I've already got a Facebook comments plug-in anyway that uh, I put in so obviously I'm going to need to decide which one I want to use and then if I go over to one of my pages so this is our new Facebook pages training you can see I've got the um, the buttons at the top here and if I go down uh, I've already got a comments um, plug-in in that's mine and then down here we've got uh, this new kind of Facebook one which obviously I've marked as the wrong um, width and I seem to have a, a second one down here I'm not sure what that is so there we go guys that's just an initial video just to show you how to upload and kind of show you how to set it up and what it does um, so you obviously need to just go in here oh this publishing as well should we just quickly do a test post give me two secs let's quickly put this in and it looks terrible because obviously it's just there's no formatting to it and it's got all these like send and subscribe buttons all over it um, but what I want to do is see what happens when I publish it see if it goes straight to my fan page so let's click on publish and then let's head over to Facebook okay I'm going into Facebook and I'm going over to the social networking Academy and oh there we go the new WordPress plugin by Facebook five seconds ago via the SNA blog plugin ah okay so you need to make sure that you uh, call your app something that you're happy to publish because this is going to be um, obviously very public okay so there we go ba boom you can set that up as well that's quite cool okay so I'm going to remove that from now obviously because uh, it's awful and obviously the the um, picture it's picked up is from the wrong blog post but you'll put on your own featured image and I'm sure it'll show that so um, Oh, I've lost the thing. I've lost the page. Hold on. Down here you can see Facebook. If I click on Facebook, that should take me back to the settings so that I can go in uh, uh, as and when I want and play around with those settings and uh, and change change the different bits and pieces. There we go. And it also gives you this insights function. So if I click on insights, let's have a look and see what that is. Uh, so hopefully this is going to tell you how many pe oh it just takes you straight to your insights in Facebook oh okay is that oh it's going to take us to the app it is look there we go boom so you get your own insights as well so it takes us to the actual blog plugin insights so that you can have a look and see how many people are actually actively using um, how many people are liking how many people are sharing and there's all these other things I think that's a whole other video <laughs> so I hope that that's proved useful to you guys um, and uh, that uh, we'll have Facebook Facebook plugins all over the shop thanks very much for listening and I'll speak to you again soon take care bye bye